partial nostalgia. I mean, it's not complete because there's that other bit of the logo that everyone seems to forget that comes before this. There are violent and disturbing images in this game. Oh no, avert your eyes, children. Uh, yeah. Uh, very late Halloween special because it's probably going to be uploaded, well, before the end of Halloween, but I intended that this get out and I just got distracted by another game. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Anyway, the fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. Hello everybody, and welcome to a very late LP of Silent Hill 1 for the PlayStation. So, um, fun fact, I've never played a Silent Hill game, but I have, I know a lot about it. Um, I'm very interested in the series, and I haven't actually played many of the games, a part of a, a, part of a little bit of this one, and that's it. Um, let me give you a quick rundown as to what happened up there before the game probably makes make sense of it anyway, because it's gonna do that, but fuck it. Um, what, uh, the, the protagonist of the game is Harry Mason, who is a single father after his wife passed away in the hospital of Cheryl Mason. And Cheryl and Harry are driving along the road when somebody walks out in front of them, and they swerve off and careen off the edge. Probably not to their death. Hopefully not, anyway. Well, but I guess it's doing the fucking this thing, because it's like, hey, you're taking too long. No, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Hold on, game. Don't get it too heavy of yourself. Right, let's go into options first. Uh, brightness, uh, do, 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 do. Yes. Um, I'm recording, I'm recording my audio in mono, but I'm probably going to keep this game in stereo. Maybe, maybe I won't. I don't know. If people complain, I'll upload a mono version of this video. I can do that. I can, I can put it, I can put the game audio into mono and post editing, so it's no problem. Uh, controller config, is there, oh no, I don't want to look at that, um, I'll hide this, yes, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3, spoiler alert, so, uh, you're gonna see that a bit, uh, analog mode, yes, it's on analog mode, good, okay, uh, right, uh, so let's start, uh, these are options I've, have already, uh, now, this is sort of blindish, I've gone a little bit into this game, but not much, and there's also a Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2 mod that basically recreates this game, so I know a little bit of what happens around the halfway point, but sort of not really. So most of it is blind, so let's, uh, yeah, fuck it, normal. I can handle it. 
Um, in later games, they would split the difficulty into actual game difficulty and riddle puzzle the difficulty, so... Yeah, I think in this it's just put together. And these are our weird loading screens, or at least this is one of them, sort of. I don't get it either. But yeah, I think uh, I think we need a, a game series to fill, fill the places of Shenmue for a while, until I decide to play Yakuza. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Sure is. Almost like it is a ghost town. Cheryl... Okay, that that definitely wasn't a motion. All right, so uh, basic moving controls. It's kind of tanky. It is tanky actually, but I can handle it since it's still a full 3D environment and the camera doesn't fuck with me. Actually, it's not really tanky. It's kind of like a weird sort of tanky thing. Um, you move forward. You can move backwards. Uh, pressing left and right does make you strafe. It turns you on the spot. So if you do this, uh, if you press up and left diagonally, you can just spin around in a circle. Um, I know the other button seemed to. Oh wait. We got a sidestep. Yeah, the L1 and R1 buttons seem to do sidesteps, so there's that. And, uh, camera adjustment mode? Uh, expanded camera is L2. Is that it? Uh, and this is... Triangle, I guess, is the map. Squares, circle, nothing. Nope. Select, however, goes to our inventory. Yes. Alright. And I'm guessing this is going to take any options. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, we don't have a map. We have a command. We have a do thing basically a do button. Oh, no, wait, those until later. Hold on, yes, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Speaking of getting too far ahead of myself, footsteps. I don't hear nothing. Or see nothing. I didn't hear nothing. Primarily. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Huh. Right. Uh, so that was Cheryl, maybe. That's that's weird. Uh, so let me talk about a, a few other things I know about this game. You see this fog? Yeah, this is technically a, like, literally technically a PlayStation 1 limitation workaround. Because the PlayStation 1 had kind of a bad issue with draw distance. However, in this game, it has a double edge. Um, it, it, it's used because you can't, you have to use it because PlayStation 1, but it also creates an eerie atmosphere. And, uh, well, ghostly figure. I can see the outline of it, barely. Not sure if you can. It's getting away. Run button is square, by the way. <laughs> so now we know that. Come back here. Where you going? Where you going? Where'd you go? Where'd it go? I don't know. There was a girl here. It's gone now. Yeah, Ben, she's gone. Flippin' wonderful. Right. Can I go down this alleyway? Because I presume that's where she might have gone. Yes. Beware of Doge. Okay. X is the action button. Got it. Yeah, okay. Well, a new part of this. Yeah, the game wasn't kidding when it said there was disturbing imagery, by the way. Oh god, no, it is. And no matter what, uh, up is always forward, and the d the way it works is that it's based on Harry himself. It's not based on the camera. It's not based on the direction of the camera. It's like, you are Harry. You press forward because he is facing forward right now to him. So yeah, that's how it works, for the record. So you don't get confused later. Whoa, dynamic camera. Yeah, this game's pretty nuts. And this game's really, really nuts. Um, no, no, no. It, it is kind of a, it is a little bit of a scary game. Probably not as scary as it was back then, but the thing is, it isn't jump scary scary. It's kind of like crawling under your skin kind of scary with some of the kind of disturbing imagery it'll place. Oh, that's strange. It's getting darker. It is. Thankfully, I have a match. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, so it gets kind of eerie. Not like jump scary. I don't think there are any jump scares, but the atmosphere here is the key feature of the game. 
Also, wheelchairs everywhere. Get used to that. Because that's a thing in Silent Hill is wheelchairs. They're not important, it's just creepy. Also, it's because of uh, the hospital thing that I mentioned earlier. Harry kind of has a little bit of a freakish fear of hospitals because that's where his wife died. So it's kind of off-putting. And what you're hearing right now is music. I wish I were joking, but it is music. Uh... Yeah, the music in this game was done by one Akira, Akira Yamaoka. And uh, sadly, he left the team when it came to Silent Hill Downpour, but for the majority of the Silent Hill games, he was the director. What in the goddamn hell? What is this? What's going on here? Oh, I think we should go now. Oh, jeez, there's monsters. Oh, God, monsters, monsters. We can't do anything about them, by the way. This is scripted. Ah, jeez. Ah, get off. Yeah, by scripted, I mean you, 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 you get to run back and uh, hopefully live, but I don't think you can. Or maybe you can, and that's a catalyst towards the good ending. Because, uh, for the record, Silent Hill is a series that is well known for having a multiple ending thing. Um, there's a... Oh, uh, okay, there appears to be a fence in the way. This was not here before. I am dead, aren't I? Yep, I am. Or maybe I can outrun him for an next period of time and win? But, yeah, I think I think you're meant to die somehow. Either that or figure out a way to avoid him, I don't think. I don't think, uh... Yeah, I think we're fenced in. Okay, let, let's just let them uh, take care of us. Hey, buddies. You're weird. You look like, uh, unborn fetuses. And down I go. It's creepy. There's more, by the way. More creepy things. Once the game decides to let- thank you. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. 
Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Well, okay. So, uh, yeah. She basically tutorialized you on how a survival horror works. Don't use a gun unless you have to. Meaning, um, if you can avoid it, don't fucking shoot your gun. Because it's a waste of time. Someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. AK save point. Hi, save point. How you doing? You're a save point. Uh, you are, you are, you are things. You are things. I'm going to save here. There. Hopefully that shouldn't get too confusing, which it didn't. Five minutes and four seconds. Hooray, it's a new record. Um, I'm tempted to wrap it up here, but before we go, there's a couple things we need to keep in check. One, let's show off how the gun aiming works. Not sidestepping, gun aiming, kids. Uh, let's see, can we equip it? There we go. And that shows what we have equipped. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. That. Ah, Alright. So, we aim, we holster it, like, hold it up with R2, and I believe X is fire? Yes, okay. Never do it again. Right. Uh, so that's how the gun works. Now, there was one other little piece of equipment that Sybil herself did not directly give us, and you know what? We might as well show it off here before we end off, and that is this. Oh, not the knife, this. A radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Fuck it. Hmm. Well, I believe we are... I mean, let me just de-equip this for a moment. And, uh... Alright, well, let's walk away from the radio. Because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. You know what, let's try to leave. That's a better idea. Maybe we should check for something useful. Maybe like that radio? Wait, no, wait, hold on. These things are a little bit more highlighted than normal. That's the one. How about this knife? That's the one. Okay, so maybe I had to grab those two things because they were kind of highlighted in a very peculiar way. Now can I check them? No. God damn it, I'm doing terrible. I have to get a... Oh, wait, there's more. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Another health drink? Yes. A flashlight? Yes. And the map of Silent Hill. Which we are going to goddamn need, for the record. Now we can check the radio. Right? I believe now we have set the requirements for the plot. Nope, okay, let's leave. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's, let's get out of here. Alright, fine. Fine, we'll leave, we'll leave. What the hell? Wait a minute, I thought it was broken. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? What the? Oh shit! John Monster! Fuck! Okay, get the gun out! Gun, 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 gun. Wait, knife, 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 knife! I'll show you how it works. Yeah, same thing. Uh, hold it up. It, it, it. Down, you vile beast! Okay, fuck it. We're using the gun. So you're making it use it. There we go. Holster it. Aim it up. And there we go. Ah, oh, God. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Okay. Let's take the radio. <laughs> So, um, if that then it, it, if that wasn't clear enough to you, what the radio basically acts is is a sort of home a uh, little radar thing. If the static in the radio is loud, that means there was an enemy nearby and you should keep on guard. If there is no static, then there isn't any enemies nearby and you can probably put away your gun to, you know, make things a little bit faster. Now, 
I'm going to stop here for one very specific purpose. I just did that radio tutorial for the sake of showing it off and what it does. However, even though this is kind of a technical blind run, I'm going to ask whether or not I should also make it a no radio run, meaning I have the radio off, because for the record, it is a thing you can do. You can turn it off completely and not have it on and off like the whole game, but if you have it on, you can basically hear when monsters are nearby, which is kind of helpful, but you can just... You can turn it off to make it a little bit more surprising, but I want to do that if it's first time. But I am because I'm asking a question, and it's probably going to be turn off the goddamn radio because we want to see you suffer. So, yeah, I'm just going to have that radio thing a thing a thing. Make a poll or something about it. Anyway, so next time, let's play Silent Hill. We are going to be leaving this goddamn cafe and figuring out what the hell to do next because I don't have a goddamn idea. Except that I do. It's going to be finding Cheryl. Maybe. Just gonna back step into the spinball market. Oh, hey, look, it's it's Terminator 2. Oh, how interesting. So until then, see you later and goodbye. Who the goddamn hell is Chris Red?